Scoused Carmelite Nuns of the Carmel of St. Joseph in St. Louis, Missouri. Our patron and father, St. Joseph, watches over us. St. Joseph keeps watch at one door, and Our Lady, our mother and sister, at the other. We have been called to live as a little college of Christ, with Christ at the center, in solitude and in community. Seven times daily the nuns come together in the choir to praise God by chanting the divine office, to sanctify the hours of the day, to pray for all the needs of the church and the world. The nuns are privileged to spend time in adoration of our Lord present in the Eucharist. This house is a heaven, if there be one on earth, for those who are content solely to love God. Carmel refers to Mount Carmel in the Holy Land, where the ardor of the Most Blessed Virgin Mary originated in the 13th century. Carmel means a flowering garden, a garden on earth, a spiritual garden wherein Jesus may take his delight. Must there not be a few persons who are set aside for God alone? For the Carmelite, prayer is friendship with Christ, conversing with him who we know loves us. We need only a place where we can be alone with Him. The Lord continues to call new brides for His heart, to follow Him and to live the radicality of the gospel, to go out from self for the love of God at the service of the church. This Carmelite motto challenges those who accept His call to live in imitation of Jesus Christ in accord with the Father's will and the guidance of the Holy Spirit. St. Teresa offered her daughters a road to peace and joy. That joy consists in living solely for God and for others. Her daughters reflect that joy especially when they gather for recreation each day. Teresa once commented, God, deliver me from sad saints. A long life in Carmel is a joyful one to the person who loves God. Fidelity to our Lord, day in and day out, even after many years, brings joy to the heart, and reflects God's great love for every person, in every land, in every time and place. For prayer has no boundaries, and God is all love.